What is going on, everybody? The Summer League has started. Now, before we go through this episode, let me just point out that I understand that this is Summer League, and this doesn't always translate to the actual NBA, but this is the first start for these young players that just got drafted. This is their first taste of somewhat of the NBA and that type of competitive nature. I know it's a whole different beast, but this is the start for them, and and I'm watching these prospects and seeing how they're turning out, so let's dissect some of the players that had their first opportunity, their first taste of NBA basketball. For the Lakers and the Kings, that game just ended. It was a little late one over here on the East Coast, starting at 11, just ending right now. But you have Wagner from Michigan, and he gets drafted by the Lakers late in the first round, and he drops 23 points at 7 assists on top of that. And the solid big man brought the energy very noticeable out there and they were talking about even though JaVale McGee just signed with the Lakers is it a possibility that this young kid can step in and help out because he can do things that McGee can't on like for example shooting the three very well Josh Hart obviously he played in the NBA last year younger player 23 points hit four three-pointers as well for the Kings, it felt like an all-star team of, of college kids that we watched. I mean, they had Frank Mason, Justin Jackson, Bagley, it, Harry Giles. It was just funny. It literally looked like a Kentucky, Duke, UNC, like all-star team, if you will. But Bagley, oh man, did he have something special. The way he blocks the ball. I mean, the ability, the vertical. The ability to block the ball is just outstanding. He did that on Bogdan a few times. They had some arguing, going back and forth, some shoulder taps here and there throughout the day. He has 18.6 rebounds and a monster slam, giving the energy to the crowd. Ah, ah, giving us one of those. Harry Giles was noticeable, 13 points. And De'Aaron Fox, I don't really know why he was out there. He clearly is an NBA player. I was surprised that he was out on the floor for Summer League. 23 points, uh, 8 boards, 9 assists. Very solid day. He looked so different. I mean, he was better than everybody else. He can take it to the rim, get that body contact, and still make the basket, get the end one. He was playing defense. He was taking some charges. He was just on a different level than those players out there. Moving on to the next game, you have the Hawks and the Grizzlies. And the Hawks, obviously, with that Trey Young situation and with the Mavericks, they get rid of Luka and they flip-flop, essentially. Trey Young struggles tonight. I mean, he shoots one for 11. He did have 16 points, but f- uh, one of 11 from three, four or 20 from the field. It, it was ugly. It was ugly. He had three assists. So there were times where I thought, okay, he was moving the ball pretty well there. But at the end of the day, it was tough. Tough to see. First, you know, first lick at it, the emotion, the just, just, the pressure the, he's just anxious I personally love the kid I love everything he stands for he seems like a real nice person and I like I really do like his work ethic so you know obviously it's it's one game in the summer league it's his first game he's going to have all kinds of emotions going through him he struggles to shoot the ball he airballs a few it was a little ugly but I'm sure it's going to be okay as he gets settled in so I'm going to continue to keep an eye out on him and see how he performs Spellman he is from Villanova I obviously love to watch him play he he had 11 and 6 but but the storyline for that game was Jaron Jackson Jr. what the way he was shooting the three at the half he literally heaved up a buzzer beater bang got it from half court 29 points 8 of 13 from three I mean I didn't realize he was that great of a shooter from three it, it was insane he was literally dropping everything it was awesome to see and The last but not least here for the first day of Summer League, Grayson Allen for Utah. We all know him from Duke. We all know his story. 4-16 for shooting for 11 points, so not the greatest offensively when it comes to shooting the basketball, but his statistics for rebounds, 8, 7 assists as well. Did a little bit of a team game all around, so clearly not his best shooting performance, but you know we know him. He gives effort. He gives energy. He likes to play defense. He plays two ways, so that that was his debut, and it was it was kind of cool. It was exciting to watch these young players play. It's, you know, the Summer League's not the NBA. I get that, but it's still cool to see 
everyone everyone who's playing in this is is like battling for their NBA dreams. So it, it has that feel, you know, it, it has that competitive nature. Some of these games were tough. They were playing hard, hard in the paint, playing physical. So it was really cool to see that and, and I'm and I'm excited to continue to watch some of these prospects moving forward, some of the prospects who haven't played yet. It's gonna be a fun ride for sure. So Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.